Happy Holidays and Merry Christmas. You're watching Drakewing Gaming. Oh, one moment. And... Enjoy the video. Hey guys, Nary here from Drakewing Gaming. Seven to me on Twitter, The Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Tennis Ace, Case Case Path. So guys, let's go ahead and just jump right back into it. Please sit back and enjoy for the next 18 minutes of entertainment. Let's jump right in. Alarm Chan, you are up and let's go. Okay. Kaken okay, insists that we come over to the expensive ice cream shop he likes so much. Of course I object to it, given that this place is absurdly expensive and I can't pay for it. Which only really makes Kaken decide that he will treat me. I already told you, I don't need you to buy me ice cream. Even though I've been going against it, Kaken still makes a point of coming over to the shop anyway. And since it's not in my nature to simply walk away from someone in the middle of a conversation, I stupidly follow. I already told you, I don't mind treating you. Come on, why do you even care? You know money is not an issue for me. You know I don't like it when people buy things for me. I don't want to take advantage. Yes, I know, and that's exactly why I want to treat you. What? Well, that doesn't even make sense! Really? It's quite simple. The fact that you don't expect or want me to pay for things for you only makes it so I want makes it so I want to do so. Because I know you're always hanging out with me for me, for me, not my money. I suppose you could say that I like honest people like you. Jesus, I'm not used to seeing Cake and smile this much. Isn't that a contradiction? He shrugs, walking over the counter and placing an order. It seems like today he's not going he's not he's just he's not just going to get some scoops. So, so what if it's a contradiction? It's just how I feel about it. People are weird like that. Ah, yes, I'd like a strawberry yogurt sundae. The lady behind the counter smiles and nods, getting right to it. Come on, get something, I insist. Admitting defeat, I sigh, walking over to the counter to pick up a cup of to cup of to pick up a cup and scoop myself some ice cream. Some ridiculously expensive ice cream. This is where me treat. If this were me treating someone, I'd be weeping every time they picked up another scoop. Don't you want to try the sundae? It's really good too. Is it cheaper? No. Then no. Is this how June feels when he goes out with us? I suddenly start reviewing all the times we hung out as a group, trying to think of how I could find how I could have made June more June uncomfortable. I make a mental note to myself to try and go to places that don't require us to spend money in the future. Jeez, I'm treating you anyway. You might as well just pick whatever you want. Yes, and I want this. I plant the ice cream cup on top of the scale to be weighed. I make sure to pick the minimum necessary not to have cake in on my case about being stingy while at the same time not getting too much. And yet, the total still makes me want to weep. Rich people venues are scary. After picking up our orders, we walk over to a nearby booth and take our seats, sitting directly across from each other. Cake can waste no time plunging his spoon into the soft, creamy ice cream. Damn it, I have to admit, that Sunday looks good. No, I cannot be taken in by temptation. What was it that you wanted to talk to me about anyway? Hmm? Oh, wife. KSK snaps back to reality, speaking up with his mouth still full of food. His voice comes out funny. For a boy raised in a rich household, he sure doesn't make him sick, sure doesn't make much of a big deal about the table manners. I wanted to ask you to go out with me this Saturday. Go out with you? And you had to take me out for ice cream to do that? Couldn't you have just asked me at the school gate and saved yourself the trouble? KSK shrugs. I wanted to bribe you with ice cream to increase my chances. Bribe? You basically badgered me until I accepted some damn ice cream. If you say so. Anyway, I suppose I have Saturday free. Yeah, sure, why not? We rarely ever do anything with just the two of us. Might be an opportunity to get to, kn to know each other better. You say that, but you're also the, on you're also the only one of my friends I ha to have ever visited my house. Pretty safe to say you already know me better than anyone else in our age group. That's sad. You know, a guy like you could have a ton of friends easily. Why do you only go out with us? We're clearly a bunch of weirdos. I could shoot that question right back at you. Touché. He chuckles and takes another spoonful of ice cream. At least he seems to be enjoying himself. By the way, how are you feeling about practice lately? Especially now that you've been paired up, paired up especially now that we've been trained to trade up as paired paired up as training partners. Damn it. I still don't get why you decided to partner up with me out of the blue, but that's what I've been wanting since I first joined the club, so I'm not going to complain. But to answer your question as plainly as possibly I, as I possibly can, I hate it. Kaken sets his spoon down, pushing his now empty Sunday cup away and sighing. Don't get me wrong, it's all I've wanted from our tennis club, but God, I just hate losing. And the way you do short and the do the way you do short work of me every time. I thought I had figured out a way to deal with you at first, and it seemed like it was working, but... Ugh. Why did I have to injure my wrist there of all times? If that match hadn't been interrupted, I'm sure I could have won. 
He grumbles unhappily, quietly sulking in his seat. Well, not that he's wrong, anyway. I don't think I would have managed to win that one. The extra time I had to compose myself was enough for me to get my head back in its place and turn the match around when we resumed. Kaken didn't get a single game after we restarted. Seriously, how can we play so many matches like that and I cannot manage to come out of it in a single set? Seriously, that's demoralizing. Well, that's, that is, this is what you asked me. Well, this is what you asked me for your first, for your since you first joined the club. Now you have it. Suck it up. Yeah, yeah, no need to tell me twice. I just need to get it out of my system. He sighs, putting his elbow on the table and leaning his chin on his hand, and absentmindedly looking out the window. By the way, Kaken, I don't think I've ever asked, why do you even play tennis in the first place? I mean, don't get me wrong, you're definitely one of the hardest workers in the club, and you're certainly a good player, but you just don't have the body for it. You have to know you're, you have to know you're going to have a hard time going pro, right? I like tennis. Shouldn't that be the reason enough? To attempt to go pro on one of the hardest, most competitive sports in the world? All of this against your family's wishes? Sure, that's a, a reason enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My reasons are more complicated than that, but I don't feel like talking about them right now. Sorry, Yuichi-san. I mean no offense by that. Oh, don't worry about it. Sorry to have asked such an awkward question in the first place. Kaken shrugs and turns his gaze to the window once more, staring at the scenery outside. You really like to look out the window, huh? Without looking at me, Keisuke fires back an answer. I like looking at the cars passing by. For some reason, it relaxes me. Does that make me weird? I think it makes you just as weird as people who enjoy watching clouds or stars. So you're saying that it does make me weird. Noted. If it weren't for the smirk on his face, I'd have a hard time telling whether he's joking or not. His sense of humor is a bit puzzling at times. Well, I guess I've already said my piece. I think I'll head home now. All right, I'll wait and uh, I'll wait. I'll wait with you until your car comes to pick you up. I appreciate it. Kaken pays our tab and we exit the shop. Best part is I still don't know what his plans for today are. Ugh, I just hope it isn't something completely intolerable. I guess I'll just have to power through it. If I'm lucky, I'll even have some fun doing it. Although the, with how ominous he sounded while talking about it, I can clearly imagine us doing something awful. What sorts of errands does a rich boy even have to run? Can he just get someone to do things for him? I sigh, rubbing my eyes to snap myself out of this groggy state. Ugh, I'm gonna need to take a cold shower before I'm, a, before I'm awake enough to deal with this crap. Here's hoping today doesn't suck. Keisuke, Keisuke scheduled, us, scheduled us for us to meet outside the local station. Even though he lives far from here, he insisted that this is the best place for him to do all the things he needs to take care of. I'm sure he's just trying to be considerate of me. Too bad, though, because I was kind of looking forward to riding in a limousine. I'm going to pretend I didn't just think about that. Sorry I'm late. I see Keisuke emerging from the train station, leaving me all kinds of confused. Kaken? What were you doing inside of a train? What? I'm not allowed to ride the train? That's not what I meant. What did you mean, then? Um, oh boy, I'm just cramming my foot further down the hole, aren't I? Oh, my foot fell asleep. One second, guys, let me reposition myself. Okay, there we go. Alright. I struggle to find words that will allow me to express myself without offending him when... Relax, I know what you meant. I'm just teasing. Oh, of course. <laughs> wow, you suck at acting. That laugh was so fake. And why do you look so stiff? Sorry, I'm a bit caught by surprise here. I never imagined you as the teasing type. What the hell kind of image do you even have of me? Well... Actually, don't answer that. I don't want to know. Well, at least I... Well, at least, yeah, at least I'm off the hook. But seriously, though, why did you take the train? You, don't you usually ride in a car everywhere? I mean, I never really... I never realized that it was because he was rich, but I did always see him arriving at school by car. But I don't recall ever seeing him arrive in a limousine before. It was always just a popular car. Usually, yeah, but today I felt like taking the train. Either way, we should get going. I've got a few things I need to get out of the way first, and then we can actually have fun. Wait, I thought you'd be spending the whole day doing errands. Keisuke blinks a few times, looking at me in awe. What? And you believe that? Hell no, you really think I'm that selfless that I'd agree, with a, I'd agree to do a bunch of errands for my family for a full day? You're already forcing me to inherit the damn company. I'm not going to waste my weekends on things that, 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 that they can do themselves. I only have one thing I have to do for my father, and then we're free to do whatever. Oh, I see. In that case, we might actually have fun after all. Oh, what do you need to do for your father, anyway? Well, it's not really for my father. I need to go to the bank to make a transfer that's beyond the limit I'm allowed, my, allowed by app. It's for one of my father's employees, but the old man doesn't know about it. What, are you bribing one of your father's butlers to let you leave the house unnoticed? I laugh at the sheer absurdity of my joke. Nah, I tried when I was younger, but none of them would take it. Even after I offered them over a million yen every time they let me out. For real? 
Yeah, why? Well, rich people problems are a lot different from that, from that of us regular folk. Never mind. Huh? Let's just go already. I'm forced to wait outside the nearest bank for over half an hour. The place is so incredibly packed with people that you can see them squeezing against the glass doors and walls. It's like a giant tuna can filled with people. Ha! I'm alive! Kaken finally emerges from the doors, dusting all his clothes off and shaking his whole body like a dog drying itself. It's kind of funny. Ugh, there's so many people in there. I really have to I really have to switch to a different agency. I thought those premium ones for, were for rich people. For rich people didn't have problems with lines. Why don't you use those? I'm risking my father finding out about my bank account and the other things I do with it. Or worse, my grandmother. No thanks, I'd rather take the huge lines. What exactly did you do with your bank account anyway? Well, I've been storing all the allowance, birthday, Christmas, and really all any kind of money I've received ever since I've moved in with my father. Wow, you must have a lot of money saved up by now. Maybe you could buy a small island to go live there without worrying about your family. <laughs> I thought about doing that, but I wouldn't have any money left to pay my bills after buying the island. Plus, I don't even like islands in the first place. I'm not fond of the sea. Wait, you have money to buy an actual island? Yeah, didn't you know already? I mean, you, you suggested it and everything. Ah, curse these rich people! Nope, nope, forget it, forget about it. My stomach hurts. Yubichi-san, you're acting weird. I don't want to hear that from you! Anyway, are you all done with your chores? Yes, I mean, there is one more that I was, a that I was asked to do, but I'm not doing that. Oh, what was it? My grandmother asked me to go to her hospital to pick her up prescription meds. She asked me to do it every month. Um, why? Can't she have one of your family mem family employees do that? Oh, sure she can, but she knows that I'm afraid of hospitals and that, due to protocol, they always have to do a ton of security clearances before I'm allowed to pick up her prescription. So I'd end up being forced to wait over an hour inside whilst freaking out. That's one of the woman's many ways of torturing me. Jesus, why would she go out of her way to do that sort of thing to you? Because she's an awful person. Or she gets off on her power trips. Your guess is as good as mine. She's been, she's been doing this kind of stuff to me since I was a little kid. The only difference is that I don't take it lying down anymore. So she goes without her meds? No, one of her butlers that has worked with me for many years does it. I pay him to go pick them up for him, go and pick them up, and for him to be silent on the matter. Wouldn't the hospital keep note of who was it, who it was that picked up the prescription and passed it along to her? I've also got some connections at the hospital that take care of that for me. As far as the records go, it says that I'm the one that picked up the meds. Wow, you sure are a lot more resourceful than I thought. You have to be, otherwise you just get walked over by everyone. But I think I'll take that as a compliment, so thank you. I'm not used to seeing him smile so much. He's so much more lively and carefree now that it's just the two of us. Well, what are your plans for the day in, uh, For the day now? I don't really have much planned. I have a few things that I want to check out for myself, though. If you don't mind, I want to pass by a nearby music store. Oh, you're buying a new instrument? Well, sorta. I'm buying a microphone to use on my computer. You guys said so many good things about my voice when we went to that karaoke earlier this month. It got me thinking a lot about it. So in the end, I decided to buy a microphone and try to record some singing. Oh, that sounds like a great idea. Do you really think so? Yeah, we've already told you. You have an amazing voice. <laughs> Thank you. He's kind of cute when he smiles like this, I'll admit. He should act like this more often. Although, I'll be honest, I don't even know there was a mu I didn't even know there was a music store nearby. Are you kidding me? There's music stores everywhere. People can't live without music nowadays. Huh, I never really noticed. Well, it's kind of like a doctor's office or a church. You're so used to seeing them everywhere that you often really don't notice them when you pass them by. I suppose that's one way to put it. Either way, I'm going to do the store that helped my father to, do the pur to purchase the guitar. The owner is a nice guy, if only a bit peculiar. But don't really expect anything fancy. He hates fancy. I wasn't even expecting to go to a music store at all. Why would I expect something fancy? Well, I suppose that's true. Oh, and if you don't mind, I'd also like to treat you to l Let me stop you right there. No. Oh, come on, what's wrong with me wanting to treat you? I can pay for myself. Oh, so what if I pick up a super expensive restaurant, then? I'll go outside, order a burger, and come back inside with it. Y y you're joking, right? I shrug, smirking. Try me. I believe you. He rubs the bridge of his nose and his forehead in an exaggerated gesture to signify his annoyance. Jeez, I can't even do a nice thing for you without you turning it into an argument. Sorry, I don't like people buying me stuff. You treat Kobayashi all the time. What's the difference between you treating him and me treating you? The difference is that most of the time, June doesn't have enough money to pay for his stuff, while I do, and don't mind treating him. 
So if I said I actually want to go someplace that just happens to be super expensive, one you wouldn't be able to pay for, would you let me do it then? Or would you force me to go someplace else that I don't really want to go to? Well, that's... Hakon chuckles, giving me a few friendly taps on the shoulder. Relax, I'm just joking. I'm not a picky eater, so we can eat whenever, so we can eat wherever you'd like. The offer to treat you still stands, though. He winks and laughs, walking away and leaving me behind in a daze. Hey, wait up! Kaken guides, me, Kaken guides me through a couple of alleyways and, and less used streets, constantly pointing out which stores he likes or doesn't as we happen to pass them by. It takes us nearly half an hour to finally reach the music store, and he, he said was nearby. Wow! The amount of instruments on display is staggering. I think I could spend the whole day just counting the amount of guitars they have in front of the store. Oh, hello there, handsome. How can I help you? Holy mother of... I jump in the way as a deep, growly voice echoes from behind me, nearly making me rocket jump into a nearby wall. Hey, hey, settle down. You're gonna end up breaking something. Oh, Keisuke, is that you? Kaken walks past me with a big smile on his face, quickly, closing the stranger, cl quickly clasping the stranger's hands in a firm handshake. Nice to see you, Kiyoshi-san. You seem to have gained some, way some weight. The man, the man, a lizard with the deep green scales that almost glinted the light, does, does a mock frown. Oh, you're hurting me there. First time I see you in three years, and that's the first thing you say to me? And for the for record, I haven't gained weight. I've gained muscle. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't aware that muscles weighed less than air. I'm sorry, so you've gained muscle without getting any heavier. That must be it. Ha <laughs> ha, very funny. I see you're still the same smartass. Is Alex not with you? This time, Kaken frowns, fidgeting uncomfortably where he stands. The lizard notices this change and offers him a sympathetic smile. Let me guess, you still hate having to be chaperoned around town, so you ditched him. K Keisuke nods, quickly looking away from the still-smiling lizard. In fact, it seems that the lizard's smile has only widened. <clears throat> I clear my throat, attempting to get them to notice that I still exist. Oh, right, Yuichi-san, this is Satsui. Satsui Kiyoshi. He's the owner of the store. I am nice to meet you. You don't look like one of Keisuke's many employees. That's because I'm not. Wow, don't tell me that I'm that... Don't tell me that that nasty, moody little brat has actually managed to snag himself some friends. Kaken punches him on the shoulder. From where I stand, it looked like to be a fairly strong punch, but it barely manages to phase the lizard. He only rubs the spot with a cynical smile on his face. Oh, oh, ow, you wound me, Keisuke. Quite literally, in fact. Could you not say stupid stuff like that in front of him, please? He's my senior at school and at the tennis club. And for the record, I do have friends. Lizard arches an eyebrow, staring down at the feisty hair with a doubtful expression. Last time you were here, the only friends you had were all adults, and they were paid for that. I'm gonna pause it right here, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribing that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye bye!